I don't think I've done a video like this before, but uh, I want to go through uh, stuff I've found out in the wild the last few weeks and actually a uh, eBay find as well and maybe share a story or two. Um, what you're about to see is pretty much all a buck a piece except where noted and from uh, St. Vincent de Paul, Savers, Goodwill, and as I mentioned, uh, eBay. Start out with uh, cassettes. These were all, uh, actually these were 69 cents a piece. Sinatra's Come Fly With Me, and that is sealed uh, on Capitol. You know, I still think cassettes kind of suck. Uh, they don't suck as much as uh, I thought they do, but I'm never going to embrace it as a, as a go-to format. Um, but these prices were kind of hard to resist. Genesis uh, Duke from 1980. Same decade, uh, four years later. Ben Halen's 1984. I have this on vinyl, I have this on A-Track, e and now I have it on cassette, uh, Boston's Don't Look Back. And this is my uh, eBay find, and I discovered something that this has that no other format has, and that's uh, an extended version of one song. And that's the Beatles' uh, Sgt. Pepper. Um, You know, I've been watching a lot of videos about uh, the re-release, the 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper uh, this summer. A lot of people are referring to this as the Summer of Pepper. Uh, mean Mr. Mayo, uh, Joe, who does some fantastic videos on uh, the Beatles, um, really got me back into this album. And not that I've ever abandoned this album, but... Um, just have an appreciation for what it is. The version of uh, the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band uh, reprise is an extended version and all they did uh, was tack on uh, a repeated uh, a final verse and tacked it on. Um, as you guys might know, the way 8-track programs are set up, it's all in the timing, and I, I think they had decided that uh, people might not want uh, 40 extra seconds of uh, silence from um, track to track, and so they extended uh, the re reprise, so no big deal. Um, it's nothing earth-shattering. It's not uh, a new verse. They just more or less uh, looped it, so... But anyways, that was, with shipping, I think I paid seven bucks for it, so not a bad deal, and it plays great. Uh, we'll go to, uh, we'll go to vinyl next. Just to show you guys, I don't only buy uh, thrift store vinyl, but I also buy uh, new vinyl in the form of re-releases, and I had a 15% off coupon uh, for Barnes and Noble today, and that's in addition to my membership. So, got some pretty nice deals, a couple of them, anyways. Uh, Coltrane's Giant Steps, and I don't think I have this. Uh, well, I know I don't have this on on vinyl, but um, this is the uh, Rhino uh, re-release in mono. You can see it still has the uh, Atlantic. Uh, inscriptions on there and the the old Atlantic address which is kind of cool giant steps nice one to have next one I did it I bought the re-release of Sgt. Pepper and this is the two disc with the the bonus discs that has uh, the uh, Studio Sessions, uh, mixed by uh, Giles Martin. Not going to do an unboxing, not going to do an unwrapping, but um, 
I did it. I, I bought this and just everything I've been hearing about this re-release um, just made it a, a must-have. I, I had bought that re-release that came out as part of the box set, I think it was five years or so ago. Um, but this one really looks like one to have. So I got a great deal on it and got 15% uh, off and then my 10% uh, off uh, Barnes & Noble membership. So um, I think the rest of these are going to be uh, thrift finds. And I found this today at uh, Savers, Diner Washington. Uh, after Hours with Miss D. I believe this is a re-release because I, on eBay I've seen uh, different covers. It is a re-release because you can see right here, this album also available on 8-track stereo cartridge. <laughs> kind of cool. I've never seen that one on 8-track, but Dinah Washington, After Hours with Miss D. I have yet to find... A good copy of this this one doesn't physically doesn't look bad uh, Beach Boy Surfing USA um, this definitely is an original release someone named Carol Gay owned it thanks Carol um, I think for the artwork alone it's it's worth having it's um, stellar absolutely stellar uh, Great picture of the genius Brian Wilson. So, Surfing USA, Let's Go Trippin', Shut Down. Um, nice to have. Nice, nice, nice to have. And I think this one's going to play better than the other copies I have. Um, next up, scored these at St. Vincent de Paul. Cheap Trick, Dream Police. An original release has the, um, uh, I think there's a little booklet in this one. I want to say this, oh no, this this has um, the original uh, liner. You can see in there, it's kind of like a poster. Um, I saw these guys in concert when I was in college and they absolutely the loudest concert I have ever been to in my life. And I think I still lost hearing uh, from it. I saw them on spring break in Daytona Beach. Happy to have that one, great album. Next one, I think was a must have. Cheap Trick at, Live at Budokan. This one has a, a booklet and uh, um, show you it's in there. I'm not gonna make this an unboxing or an un unpacking video, but yep, there's the uh, booklet. I know some, some people go crazy over having that stuff, but what a fantastic album. Ricky Nelson, how cool is that? Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. This is definitely uh, an original release. No question about it. You know, someone let me borrow this one time and I found it for a buck. Um, it's not bad. I'm not a progressive rock fan, but Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. It, um, it's different. It's definitely different. I would I would probably classify this as symphonic uh, progressive rock. Of course, Rick Wakeman, I, I think he's with uh, the group BS, but for a buck, why not? Next one, a group I don't even like, but I have a lot of respect for them. Rush, Fly By Night. This was also a buck. Definitely <laughs> an original uh, release manufactured and distributed by Phonogram at 1 IBM Plaza in Chicago. Kind of cool to have. Getty Lee's voice to me is just like fingernails on a blackboard. I, I just, he's a great 
uh, bass guitarist. His voice is awful. It is just awful. Next one. <laughs> I was kind of happy to see see this. The best of Sonny and Cher on Atco. Beat goes on. I get you, babe. Um, why not for a buck? Nice photos here. You can see Sonny's got, he shoots with a knicker mat, which I was kind of surprised to see. I, at this point in his career, he's certainly making enough to buy a Nikon F, but apparently his weapon of choice was the uh, semi-pro model, the knicker mat. So, kind of cool to have. Ramsey Lewis, the movie album. I have a bunch of this guy's stuff, and they're fun. His stuff is fun. Really nice gatefold here. And I was really, really psyched to see. I'm a huge James Bond fan. The theme from Russia with Love is on there, on the Cadet label. Um, this one's in stereo. They apparently also made a mono release, but... The movie album starring Ramsey Lewis. This one, yeah, this one, uh, going back to Savers, this was a Savers find. And I have a bunch of these in this series. Louis Armstrong and Eddie Condon uh, from the Newport uh, Jazz Festival, uh, Columbia series. Jackets in beautiful shape. You can see the signs here leading to Newport, Cape Cod, and you can see Louis Armstrong. I haven't checked this one, but yes, <laughs> it is a six eye, Columbia six eye, and it's in beautiful shape. So, of course, it's got the non breakable. I think this is probably about the fifth or sixth one that I have in the Newport Jazz Festival series, and eventually I'm going to group them all together. Next one was a great find. The Doors, Strange Days, covers in beautiful shape. Not a piece you, you normally see out there in the wild, considered one of the Doors' uh, very best. Um, album looks like it's in, oh it is, it's in beautiful shape. So, not bad for a buck. And when I say a buck, 99 cents. Sinatra, that old feeling on Columbia, beautiful, uh, cover art I haven't checked this one but I'm wondering if this is a 6i as well and it is when I find these 6i and look at the condition it, this vinyl is in such beautiful shape but when I find, find those 6i labels it's like Christmas 99 cents Ella sings Gershwin, Ellis Larkins at the piano. This is definitely a re-release. You can see the modern MCA label in stereo. I have some Ella Fitzgerald. Her, her voice just blows me away. So damn good. Some more Sinatra. Francis Albert Sinatra and Antonio Carlos Hobim. Of course, the g girl from Ipanema did that album with um, Stan Getz. This is definitely original. No question about it. And that is a, I think this is a mono. Yep. Yep. Mono. Nice find. Next one. I was so excited to find this in the wild. I don't have any of her stuff. 
but this woman could absolutely belt, absolutely belt uh, Pearl. Janis Joplin. With full, full tilt boogie on Columbia, produced by Paul Rothschild, who produced that Doors album I just showed you guys. In beautiful shape, absolutely beautiful shape. I think I already have the next one, but got it again. Brubeck's Greatest Hits. This is a stereo release. Of course, it has Take 5, Blue Rondo, A La Turk, um, Unsquare Dance, which if you haven't heard Unsquare Dance, what a blast that recording is. Just a blast. I haven't looked at the label on this one. Oh, a 2 I. Looks like it's a nice shape. Give it a spin. A couple of soundtracks coming up. I bought this just for the cover alone. I, I may not even play it. Mel Brooks, High Anxiety. You can see it lists all the other uh, Mel Brooks films on the back. Just kind of cool to have. Why not? 99 cents. Next one. This was 99 cents, even though it says 2.99 on it. <laughs> Rocky Three. Original motion picture score. Uh, music by Bill Conti. Has Eye of the Tiger on it, of course. Um, Take You Back. Uh, Frank Stallone. What the hell for 99 cents? These next ones, also 99 centers. I think I got these at, yeah, these were savers. Commodore's Greatest Hits. There's Brickhouse on there. Um, three Times a Lady, Slippery When Wet. Easy. Lionel Richie actually has some talent. Had some talent. Stuff he did with uh, the Commodores. This is on the Motown label. Fantastic. Fantastic album. I was surprised I didn't have this next one because I love Bob Seger. Live Bullet. I have this on compact disc, first time on vinyl, you see a great gatefold, concert photos, so cool, so damn cool, Nutbush City Limits, I, I have the single of that one that came off of this album, and speaking of, let's go back to the Beatles for a moment. This was a Goodwill score. Meet the Beatles. I've already played this and it actually sounds quite good. Um, you can see here, someone tried to put their name on it. Name, John. Cover's not in the best shape. As you know, as I've often said, you don't listen to covers, but Meet the Beatles. Capital, uh, mono, mono release. Nice to have. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys uh, is some uh, singles. I thought about doing a separate uh, singles video, but I've been rambling on here now for so damn long. Might as well show them. Here come the Eagles haters. Uh, one of these nights, original release on uh, Asylum, which of course is part of Electra. This next one, this was kind of cool to find. Patty LaBelle, Lady Marmalade. 
on Atco. Flip side, Space Children. You can see it's got the original Atco uh, envelope. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Boogie Wonderland, instrumental in the original single on ARC, part of Columbia. Picture single, picture sleeve, Peter Frampton, I'm in you. Uh, Genesis, throwing it all away. This, of course, was part of uh, the Invisible Touch album on the ori original picture sleeve from 1986. Uh, Madonna's Holiday on Sire. Pretty awesome to have. Donna Summer. On the radio on Casablanca. Next one, last one in this set uh, Journey, Loving, Touching, Squeezing on Columbia. Daydream on the back. So these were all 99 cents a piece. Uh, Goodwill, someone had dropped off, I guess, a bunch of singles, and I went through them and scurried for these um, nice additions I've got a small 45 set not not big but nice to have nice to have 45s are kind of a high maintenance format one song on a side but fun to collect fun to collect and I, I have a uh, conical stylus that I like to use to play these back and they do sound great. They really do sound great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll share some more findings soon and happy hunting and happy spinning. Take care for now. Bye-bye.